Hi, so um, when looking at generating hydrogen, you really only have a couple of options. And one of them is to whack a load of power in it and break up the water and that will split it into water and hydrogen. And the other one is to use a catalyst. And um, there are actually catalysts out there that have um, really um, good results. They have a high yield of hydrogen and oxygen from splitting water. But um, like a lot of these things, they're just stupidly expensive. I mean, they're made out of things like um, platinum and indi indium and yttrium and dysprosium and all kinds of really rare earth metals that cost thousands of pounds per microgram. So there's no way that you're going to be able to build a solar cell out of these materials. There just isn't enough of them, and they cost too much. But um, there are other catalysts available, and these catalysts have become available only recently. And um, one of them is something called carbon nitride. Now, carbon nitride is traditionally made out of the uh, thermal decomposition of um, things like melamine and uh, formaldehyde, and um, helpfully enough, urea. Now, urea is the uh, major component of your own urine, and it's um, the biggest um, waste product on our planet. There are billions and billions of tonnes of urea produced every year. Uh, and it's used as a fertiliser, and it's incredibly cheap. And if you buy some, it comes in a bag, like this. And that's urea, uh, urea crystals. I think I paid um, two pounds for this one kilo bag of it. And if you heat that at um, 550 degrees for three hours, and it breaks down, and it reforms to form a... Um, hexagonal ring structure in the same way that graphite forms a hexagonal ring but instead of being six carbon atoms in the ring it's three carbons and three nitrogens in a hexagonal ring and these all bond together in the same way that graphene bonds to form a plate of carbon and nitrogen and it's uneven for the carbon uh, for the nitrogen sorry so the way they refer to this is uh, graphitic carbon nitride and it's G hyphen um, C3N4 and it makes a plate structure just like graphene. So like I say, all you actually have to do with it is heat it to 550 degrees. Now if you have a, a potter's kiln then it's going to be a piece of cake. You just set it for 550 degrees and turn it on for three hours and done deal. If you don't have a potter's kiln then you can still do it. So if you looked at the earlier video on how we made a microwave kiln that microwave kiln um, won't actually get above about 700, if you're lucky, really. It tends to hover around the sort of 5 to 700 range, depending on um, what kind of power you're putting in there. Now, it's a bit of a drag, but essentially all you do is turn it on for 15 minutes, leave it for 5 minutes, on for 15 minutes, leave it for 5 minutes, for 3 hours, and it will burn away all of the hydrogen component in the urea and all of the oxygen and leave you with this lemon yellow powder. Now this lemon yellow powder, of which is about 10 grams there incidentally, was made from 150 grams of urea put into this ramekin and then heated for three hours and it forms this powder. This powder is um, graphitic carbon nitride. Now if you want to buy this amount of graphitic carbon nitride it costs about a thousand euros. It's actually about 900 euros. Um, I made this for about um, 50 pence and the use of the electricity, which is not very much. So you're probably looking at about three or four pounds worth there that it cost me to make about a thousand, a thousand euros worth. So much better to actually make this stuff. And this stuff is a bit of a modern wonder material. Um, not only is it photocatalytic for water splitting of hydrogen, it's also uh, photocatalytic for the combination of carbon dioxide into methanol and ethanol. So if you put this in a cell and you blow methanol and ethanol over it, leave it in the sunlight, what you, sorry, carbon dioxide over it, leave it in the sunlight, what you'll get out is methanol and ethanol. So it's got quite wondrous stuff. Now it does do the water splitting, but it does it very, very slowly. Um, so what you need to do is, is um, put an additive on it that will speed up that reaction. Uh, and there are quite a few additives that you can put on this. Um, <coughs> one of them is uh, titanium dioxide and platinum. If you mix it with titanium dioxide and platinum and sinter it, then you get a photolytic um, catalyst. You can also mix it with sulphur. Uh, you can also add extra nitrogen. Um, you can also add um, zinc. And you can add um, iron. All of these things will improve its photocatalytic behaviour and make it a better photocatalyst. Now, um, I'm going to dope this stuff 
with iron because it makes a good photolytic, photolytic converter for um, hydrogen, water splitting, and uh, it's relatively easy to do. So that's what we're going to do. Okay? So in that jar we have 50 millilitres of acetone and to it we need to add one gram of iron 3 chloride. Now it's not particularly critical how much you add but the guidance is one gram. You can add more if you like and you just scrape that in there. It's going to fizz up a little bit obviously it's iron 3 chloride. So add your chloride and give it a stir. Then you add half a gram of your carbon nitride. Now it looks like quite a lot because it weighs practically nothing. So stick your half a gram of carbon nitride in there and give it a little stir. Now it's acetone that we've got in here so it's going to evaporate pretty quickly. So you need to seal that jar up. Now that needs to be stirred for five hours at around 30 degrees. You can make it a bit more if you like. Again, it's not a critical thing. And you can stir it longer for five hours if you like. Uh, obviously you have to keep the jar sealed or everything will evaporate. And um, it goes on the magnetic stirrer. So I'm going to take that away and put that on the magnetic stirrer for five hours. So here it is in the um, mechanical stirrer. And it's been stirring for about two hours now. And you can see it's gone from that um, bright purple red colour to this kind of light orange colour. So here it is after five hours of stirring. And as we can see, it's uh, beginning to separate out into two layers. We've got the um, solid layer at the bottom there and this liquid layer here at the top. Um, this liquid layer is uh, acetone plus uh, leftover bits and pieces. And you'd expect that to be a kind of deep bright red because of the iron chloride that should be in there and it isn't it's a kind of an amber yellow color and the reason for that is that most of the iron ions have been adsorbed into the graphitic carbon nitride at the bottom here and formed a complex with it so this material here is the iron doped graphitic carbon nitride that we want this here is our acetone and waste materials so what we need to do now is um, centrifuge this pour away the acetone, uh, wash it again with acetone, centrifuge it again, and then we can um, leave this material out to dry, and the acetone will evaporate um, relatively quickly. And that's what I'm going to go do now. So what we have here are our uh, finished products. So starting from urea, we got this, which is the um, graphitic carbon nitride. And it's this ye um, lemon yellow colour. And what you do to get that, to recap, is um, heat the urea to uh, 550 to 700 degrees for three hours and um, you've got to remember to cover it because if you don't cover it it'll all evaporate so you put a cover on it when you heat it uh, and it gives off a strong ammonia smell and the urea turns into this lemon yellow powder and this uh, lightweight lemon yellow powder is the graffiti carbon nitride now this is amazing stuff and it's sold on the internet as uh, nicotinite and as I say, that's about 900 um, euro or 900 dollars for 10 grams of it. So you're looking at about 1,000 euros just there. Uh, it's harder than diamond, and they're using it to coat uh, cutting blades with it. Uh, it's a P-type semiconductor. You can use it in this format, um, obviously mix it up with the solvent and do a thin film. But you can use it in this format as a solar cell, or a conductor, or... Um, a uh, hydrogen splitter so very very useful stuff or you can dope it and what we've done is um, dope it here with iron to get this compound here and this is our iron doped uh, graphitic carbon nitride now we doped that with iron by um, adding uh, iron, iron chloride iron 3 chloride in a 2 to 1 ratio so for 1 gram of this we added 2 grams of iron chloride and stirred it for 5 hours in acetone and then washed it and dried it and we got this um, orangey yellow powder and this orangey yellow powder is good for um, hydrogen uh, extraction from water by um, solar energy so you put this into a solar cell uh, point it at the sun and the hydrogen will bubble off now um, you can also dope this um, carbon nitride with zinc 
and use zinc chloride in an ethanol solution and that's also supposed to be good for um, water splitting. Uh, you can dope it with nitrogen and you can dope it with sulphur and all kinds of things. So two really useful uh, materials that are easy to uh, synthesize and very useful for solar cells and um, semiconductors. Anyway, hope you enjoyed.